fun fact. We will uh, we'll get things started here, and uh, we'll ask Coach Jordan to give an opening statement, and then we will uh, open questions up for the student athletes. Yeah, for, first, um, you know, I want to say con congratulations to Coach Anderson. Uh, it's a you know a great year. Uh, that's a really good basketball team. Uh, he, he's doing a heck of a job with their program. Uh, we knew tonight was going or today was going to be a, a, a fight. Uh, obviously, with with the press, their ability to press and extend the floor. Uh, and apply pressure. Um, we knew we had to handle that, and I thought uh, our guys responded. I was re really proud of our effort on the, on the glass um, because they, they're a heck of a rebounding team as well with their length and athleticism. Uh, and it was all about response. You know, you know, really, really proud of our seniors for stepping up, uh, owning our huddles, and making plays when we needed them. Um, and so, you know, we, we just talked about surviving advance. That's that's the nature of of March, uh, and we knew it was going to be a 40 minute game. Uh, we got up big early. Uh, and we knew they had a run in them, and we had to, you know, hold on and get it back. Uh, but guys had a really good demeanor about them, uh, and we made good decisions late, you know, when it mattered. Okay, we do have uh, the three student athletes with us, Sean McDermott, Keelan Martin, and Kamar Baldwin. We'll open the floor uh, to questions for the players, please. Tom Davis, Fort Wayne News Sentinel for Sean. Um, Sean, a lot of games have runs in them, but these were two absolute extreme runs. 21 to two on your part, 27 to six counter by them. Uh, what's going through your mind and your emotions after they've put that 27 six run on you guys and they actually, they take the lead after you guys were up so big? Uh, yeah, we're just moving on, focused on the next play. Um, just the ne next possession mindset, um, try to get a stop if we're on defense or if we're on offense, try to get, try to get a bucket to get ourselves going again. But um, like coach said, they're a heck of a team. Um, so we knew they would have a run in them. Uh, yeah, hey, uh, Bob Holt, Arkansas Democrat Gazette newspaper. For, this is for Kayla and Kamar. You guys, I think, combined for 61 points. Arkansas's, you know, big scores. Uh, uh, Barford and Macon, I think, had, had uh, well, they didn't have anywhere near that. They had 27. How do you guys feel about that switch? I mean, 61, outscoring their top two guys, 61 and 27. What do you think was the key to that? Um, I think Kamar and Aaron did a tremendous job on, on uh, Barford and Macon. Uh, they uh, held them. I don't know how much they had, but they just did a tremendous, a tremendous job. I seen them watching film with one of the coaches last night, and they were just locked in on personnel. And so, give them all the credit. But those, those two are great players. Uh, <clears throat> to go off that, um, you know, it was it was a team effort. Uh, it took the whole, all all of us out there to uh, shrink the court, and uh, that's what we did. We just make them take tough twos, and uh, limit their touches. So uh, that was a team effort tonight. Andrew Wingreen from Heroes Media Group. Um, I know Sean just referenced uh, the next play mentality that you guys had, but Keelan, there was a, a possession um, with about nine minutes to go when you missed a three, long rebound. Arkansas went on a two-on-one break, and uh, your freshman guard got a big stop, um, and then you came right back and answered with a three. And it was a four-point game, big big swing right there, but just kind of talk through what your mentality was and how big of a play that was for you guys. Uh, it was a great play uh, that Aaron made for us, and uh, he f he found me again. He just told me to keep shooting, and you know I, I just knocked it in. And Coach always says, if, if you're open, shoot it. So just don't pass up open shots. Uh, for Kamar, obviously you guys advanced to play Purdue, a team you're very familiar with, close by. <coughs> You've already played this year, and they beat you guys handily in the first game. I know in conference play there are times that you have to bounce back from defeats to other teams. Uh, is it the same mindset going against Purdue that Sunday will be a different game, that what happened in December has nothing to do with what happens on Sunday? Um, let me see. Can you, can you repeat the question? <laughs> Facing Purdue again, they, they beat you badly the first time uh, two months ago. They, uh -huh. they beat you badly. How do you bounce back from that? Uh, we're just going to play uh, Butler basketball, uh, you know, and just stick with our system um, and just play uh, together as a team like we always do. You guys, uh, this is for any of the players. Um, you guys held them to four of 18 three-point shooting. They, they'd been shooting 40%. They had a lot of big three-point games. Well, what was the key to hold them to four of 18? 
just uh, trying to run them off the line. We talked about that uh, before in pregame. Just run them off the line, just try to make them make tough twos. And I think we did a great job of that. Uh, and then some, they, they missed some open shots as well. They were good looks, but uh, just give credit to our defense. We just we were just locked in on the scouting report and the game plan. Any other player questions? Okay, gentlemen, you can head back to your locker room. Uh, again, the uh, locker room will be open until 6.05. Uh, and all the players will be now in there once they get back. We'll now open the floor uh, up for questions for Coach Jordan, please. Coach, I just want to start with the next round. Um, I, I don't know if you've heard yet, but Isaac Haas has fractured his elbow and will be out for the next game. I just wanted to get your thoughts on that. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, they told me, you know, in the locker room there as we as we headed down here. Obviously, your first thought is goes out to Isaac and his family uh, and Purdue and their their program. Uh, you hate that uh, for anybody, but especially a senior uh, in in his last run. Um, for that to take him out, you know, when, when they have a really good team and a really good chance to, to make a deep run. And so I think our mentality doesn't change. You know, it's not like they're going to play four guys. Like they have other players that are really good. Uh, so we've got to be prepared for them. Uh, hey, Coach. Uh, Bob Holt, Arkansas Democrat is that two-parter. Well, yeah, what, what, what was your thoughts on holding them to four of 18 on, on threes? And then also they made the big run back at you, took the leap, then you guys regained the lead at halftime and, and, and held it the rest of the game. How big was that run you made at, the, at the, you know, the first half to get the lead back up to five? Yeah, in regards to the three-point line, it was, you know, that was a heavy discussion throughout the week. You know, they didn't, we actually shot, shoot more threes than them on the year uh, by about five, but they shoot a higher percentage. Uh, so, they, you know, when they take them, they make them. And so we had to get them off the line. You know, they do a good job in their motion offense of setting screens. I thought um, guys did a good job chasing them. Uh, we were good, uh, you know, off the ball, which was a big emphasis. Uh, and then, you know, transition was the other part where we gave up maybe two in transition, but we found them as they were flying up the court because we know that they play with pace. Uh, and so that was a big deal. Uh, and then the other one, you know, we got up big and I didn't expect to, to beat them by 20. Uh, you know, they're, like I said, they've got firepower and some offensive weapons that can get you back in the game. Uh, but I thought our guys just had a really good response when they came back to the huddle, they made the run. You know, it was all about the next play, as Sean said. And, and so that mentality uh, ha 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 helped us keep a poise about us, even when they made a big run. Coach, with Purdue, obviously a 7-2 guy goes out. They'll just replace him with a 7-3 guy. So is it pretty much the same scouting report, or is there some different strategies that you'll need to use on Sunday? Yeah, yeah, I think um, offensively it, it changes things for them that you know because Haas is such a factor on the offensive end of the court, uh, and obviously the, the freshman big kid he's a he's a defender, shot blocker, he's very mobile. Uh, so they were two they had kind of a double edged sword there where they could do a little offense defense, and they're both you know seven feet tall. So now uh, you know that uh, the Edwards guys and the other other players will get more aggressive because the points have to come from somewhere. Uh, so we've just got to be, you know, do a really good job with personnel. You know, Matt's a great coach, and they run uh, really good stuff. Uh, and we've, we've got to guard, you know, guard anything they throw at us. Uh, they got veteran players, and they'll be ready. I got another two-parter here, if that's okay. You guys seem like he really did a nice job on Gafford. I mean, he was two of nine. You kept him from going crazy. What was the key to that? And then I think Butler's 11 and one in, in openers. Since 2001, I think you're the fifth coach in that run. So obviously, you guys are all doing a pretty good job. What 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 do you think about 11 and one and being the latest guy to, to win that first game? Yeah, I think you know 11 and one is because we've got pretty good players. Uh, and they may, you know, so they and they've got a lot of pride in the program. And so our seniors uh, weren't satisfied with just getting here and, and getting to the tournament. Obviously, we had to earn that. Uh, but they got bigger bigger goals in mind. And so um, you know, and that's been the case you know, the past two decades. And I think that, that you can feel that, you can see it. I think we work with that mindset every day. Uh, and these guys have done a heck of a job this season. Um, you know, and, and what was your first question again? Yeah, the, the big fella, you know, obviously he presents a problem. He, he's big, he's long, he's athletic. We just wanted to keep him, you know, keep him away from the basket. We got caught a couple times, you know, fronting a little bit too high and they, they threw it over the top and he was able to use his length. Um, we, would, we wanted to stay between him and the basket and make it hard for him and, uh, to score and give him no angles. And so I thought Tyler and Nate did a great job. Uh, and then we kept him off the glass. I think he got he had zero offensive rebounds, or he got two. Um, and so it wasn't a big factor, because we know that's, that's part of his ability to help them is going to rebound and get putbacks. 
We have time for one final question, if there is one. Andrew Wingreen, Heroes Media Group. Uh, coach, I know this was uh, your first tournament victory as a head coach. Congrats on that. But just kind of wanted to get your insight on, um, was there any advice that you had gotten um, leading up to this week of preparation that kind of prepared you for uh, this moment, you know, being your first time in the tournament as a head coach? Um, you know, I, I reached out to, to a couple of my mentors just on prepping for, for the week because you, you got selection Sunday and then, you know, the game's on Friday. So what to do with the four days in between. Uh, and outside of that, you just have a, a you know, mindset of trying to do your best for these guys. You know, they deserve it. You know how they're going to work. You know they're going to pay attention to the game plan. So just making sure we're really uh, clear on what we were asking of them so that they can come out and play with big hearts and execute. Coach, thank you, and congrats on the big win today. Thank you. Uh, as I said, the Butler locker room will be open until 6.05, so there's maybe about 15 minutes left there. Zero.